my name is James Williams Jr. Got this from Top Buzz. I'm not a happy camper. I'm going to read this. It's going to piss you off. It's pissing me off. NYPD. Black man throws burning liquid in a 13-year-old girl's face and says, This is for you, you white bee. You know, that's the picture of the guy. Just looking for him. I hope that he burns in hell. Not just because he's a racist, but he just fucked it up for everybody else that's black. Alright? Again. Come on, black people. Stop this shit now. So let's read this shit. Please help our independent journalism sharing by sharing this story. Okay, I probably shouldn't have read that part, but anyway. Black man in Queens throws unknown burning liquid into the face of a 13-year-old white girl as he yells, This is for you, white bee. I don't really want to acknowledge any racism on my part. I don't support racism in any way, shape, or form. And yes, I have been known to make quite a few racist statements of my own in some of my videos, but I'm blunt. I give y'all all the whole 1,000 most of the time. But I also don't don't um try to degrade women with the female dog logo. Alright, so racially charged attack is now being investigated by NYPD Hate Crimes Task Force. The incident took place last Tuesday afternoon when the victim was getting off a bus in the Richmond Hills area. According to CBS News New York, the police said that the suspect came up behind the girl. And when she turned around, he yelled racial remarks, then threw an unknown substance on her. The substance was appeared to have been held in a water bottle. Remains unknown by the authorities, but was said that had burnt the thirteen year old burnt the victim's eyes. The thirteen year old girl was treated at a Jamaican hospital at Jamaica Hospital and is expected to recover. The victim's father, Vincent Evangelista E V A N G L I I mean E L I S T A Evan Angelista I don't know how to say it all right let me spell it again V E V A N G E L I S T A said his daughter usually leaves school with her friend but was alone after the after school program delayed her travel normally she travels with the after school with her buddies but she was part of an after-school program that came back a little later. Evan Angelista said his daughter, I think I said it right this time, said his daughter is strong and will not like let like this cowardly attack on her future, affect her future. She's going to move on from this incident and not let this get in the way. I'm sorry, I'm a little choked up. As long as she feels safe taking the bus, she can continue to take the bus, he added. The officer scanning the neighborhood in an effort to find a perpetrator. The police came came yesterday here and went to the li liquor store. And uh, then they checked the camera and said the neighborhood worker, Francisco Dizla? Dizla? Dazla? Francisco, D-I-S-L-A. I can't make that picture any bigger, so you guys can find us on top of us. I hope they catch him, said the Richmond Hill resident. God, why do people keep having these damn names? I guess it's Camel? K-A-M-L-E-D-O-K-H-I-E. I'm scared for myself because I travel on the bus all the time, so I hope that they do something about this fast. I think it's really scared. I think it's really scary that he'll still he's still on the bus loop. He's still he's still on the loose. Being honest, I don't want him doing anything like that to me or my friends. Added another local resident. Oh my God! How the hell do you say this? I think it's. Nadine Charlemagne? Charlemagne? You know what? I'm going to spell it out for you. N-A-N 
D A I N E, first name, S H A M N A R I N E, last name. Okay, well, we're going to leave that. The subject is described by the police as a black man about 30 years old with a bald head, reported NBC, CBS News. He was last seen wearing a dark colored hood, sweatshirt, and a red underneath, royal blue pants, tan brown boots. The police have been scanning the area since the attack. Compute commuter, excuse me. Commuters are hoping for a quick arrest. The police came yesterday here and they what did I that this just rewrote that right up the top. And they just read that too. What the hell is going on with this damn thing? I'm sorry, the the report seems to be repeating itself. But the liquor store nearby. Hope they catch him. The same damn people. Okay. Anyone with information? Yeah, I'm not gonna reread the same thing like three times. Anyone with information regarding of this incident is to call the NYPD Crime Stoppers Hotline at one eight zero zero five seven seven tips, which is eighty four seventy seven, or in Spanish, one eight 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 five seven pista pista p i s t a which is seven four seven eight two or if you have um a website you can text your tips to two seven four six three seven crimes enter the tips enter tip five seven seven i'm james Jr. you just come for number two and before i finish off let me put this under the microscope Okay, so we as people of color have been condemned for more than most of our lives. And I did a report about this Canadian singer making people move to the front. And you know how I said, if I pay for my concert ticket, that I'm not moving, regardless of what color I am. And I meant that shit, you know. Because I'm not pro anybody. I'm pro human being. And all lives do matter. Sorry, my headband was getting a little tight. I think that if we all sit back and try to think peaceful things before we go out and do something incredibly fucking stupid, we'd have lesser things to deal with. However, unfortunately, people don't seem to understand it. We all bleed red. We all need air to breathe and water to live. So if we don't get our shit together, we're going to be in deep shit. Got that? So think about that while you're judging me for making this video. And as far as this black guy is concerned, shame on you. Shame on you, you dumb bastard. I'm James Williams Jr. Just come for having number two. Be seeing you.